right. Guys, Amen. we're here. Guys, I'm so, man, it's life and times. You know, thank you for popping out, showing up. We love you. You know, guys, oh. we're here with the funniest guest I've ever Thank had. you. For you people know, who tell me I'm not fucking funny. Oh, I could. You can curse, yeah. <laughs> guys, thank you. We're here with Music Extraordinaire. Thank you, thank you. Little, little big DJ. If Lil Big played it, had a DJ, she'd be president. And <laughs> you dig. Look at the fucking hat. You see it. <laughs> 10K voice. Miss put that shit on. Hold on. Introduce yourself. What's up, y'all? What's up, Wife and Time? <laughs> I'm finally in here. <laughs> it's been a minute. It's, it's been a long time coming. I was supposed to be here first episode type shit. Bad. But I'm Jesse Robbie. This is my good friend, Tim, if you didn't know. She switched it? I've been, uh, <laughs> yeah, I'm just. Now. It's my show now. now. It's my show now. Look, man. This is my old friend. Not going to lie. I'm I'm one of my first friends I ever met. Man. Here. For real. Around. We're, we're, we're definitely around the block. Uh-huh. Right? Like, I can say, we're sitting here trying to reminisce how. We were. Because I, it's, it's, sometimes shit is a blur. You don't really like. <laughs> shit is a Like, shit is really a fucking blur. You don't really <laughs> see or hear at all. It's kind of like a. You know, here and there. You know what I'm saying? Right. But some people stick around, especially like if you're actually outside and mm-hmm. doing what you're supposed to do and right. such things. Then you're everywhere. Because I mean, right? I mean, shit. Even like, I mean, last week, little Tony. Or I don't know if that was last week or not, but that was like a while ago. Like mm-hmm. little Tony shit. Mm-hmm. I didn't know she was gonna be there. I'm like, oh, look right. who's here. Like you know yeah, what I'm saying? I see him around. I'm like, <laughs> like it's funny man, me like. Yeah, it's, it's I knew you were gonna be here. But it's good to see people working. Right. You know what I'm saying? Or, or people that give a fuck about like what they're doing. I do. I give a lot of fucks about music and I what g- I do for I sure. Give, give a lot of fucks. I Put do. the mic down, little guy. You know what I'm saying? Get, oh. it, get it to your mic. You know what I'm saying? Hey, there you go. I'm a shorty. <laughs> the littlest soldier. Because I'm, you know, I'm trying to set these cameras up, and I'm like, oh fuck, I forgot you're way smaller than like. I am so. But people be thinking I'll be like. My energy just big. You it's, know what I'm saying? I mean, you got to be to do what you do. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But uh, we're getting ahead of ourselves. But where? Yeah. Let's just start it out like I do with all of them. It's like, where Where are you from? Um, I'm from the Bay Area, you know, where we what? get hyphy and go dumb. That's where I'm from. Where Where in the Bay Area, though? Uh, I was born in Oakland, California. You were born in Oakland? Yes. Isn't that the one that the Keith Lee nigga just left because it was too crazy? You know what? <laughs> Tell we warned him plenty, plenty, plenty of times, and you know he should have went away around, like you know. <laughs> is it is, now? But but for real, is it is it that bad? As somebody has never been, is you it never that been bad? To the Bay? Nah, I don't you know. Really, what? You know? Uh, I love my people there. I love the Bay Area. I love like the atmosphere. Everybody a family, but do get kind of crazy. Like, don't leave your car. And lay that night somewhere. Don't you know it's bound to get bipped. Like, I'm sorry, but we warned you. That's the thing. You gotta That's, be smart about how you go around there. It's I don't think you 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 don't really hear. Like you hear. I mean, it depends on how like well you or people know California. Right. You know what I'm saying? Because you know, obviously you're down here, you have all the gang problems and so on and so forth, which isn't yeah that bad depending on where you're going. Yeah. But then it's like, yo, you go to you go anywhere that's not touristy out there, it's like yo, it's a problem. Right. Like you know what I'm saying? It's a different everything over there. It is, but we live over there. We have a good time. Just don't leave stuff in your car. It's so simple. Just take it out. Just take it out. Just take it out. And then have a good old time. Smoke some. Yeah, Ninja, exactly. Go to the lake. The lake? Yeah. There's a lake in Oakland? Yes, it's called Lake Merritt. Merritt? Yep, Lake Merritt. It's a pretty, pretty lake. Really? Mm-hmm. In Oakland? Mm-hmm. I never knew that. It's See, that's what I'm saying. So what, what was it? So, okay. So what was it like growing up there? Because you don't really, I would have never guessed. Like I was um, born there, but I didn't grow up there. Uh, I grew up in like a smaller town in a bay called Union City, California. Union? Union City, yeah. That sounds like shit. It's like city industry, I guess. Yeah, it's small city shit. Mm-hmm. But uh, my mom was, uh, she grew up in Oakland. So I was around there. Mm-hmm. She worked in Oakland, Chinatown. I was like seven, eight years old, running around with her in Oakland, mm-hmm. Chinatown, getting boba, like <sighs> going to the nearest liquor store. That was me. Before it was hot. Right. So I was mm-hmm. just running around, having a good time, started DJing out there. We gonna get there. Yeah, we hold on. There. Yeah, yeah, we gonna My get bad. there. You go, you going, you going too fast. You um, going too fast. Growing up there was good. Like, I, 
was such a family. It was such a community. My mom always like was uh, always told me to like be one with your community and stuff like that. So yeah, I was no, around there. No, that's what I'm saying. I mean, that sounds nice. Uh, you also saying like like is Oakland close to Chinatown? Oakland has its own Chinatown. Oh. Yeah. So you know how like LA got a Chinatown, yeah. Koreatown. Oakland also has its own Chinatown. Huh. Yes. I feel like every major city besides, yeah. besides the southern states. I have right. no idea. Right? Because well, I'm thinking because Texas would not have one. I feel like Texas wouldn't do that. I don't know. I don't know either. I can't like, even speak on it. I don't know either. I can't. I can't. They I probably just do got some stuff though. Well, I mean, I think they got a they, they everyone got stuff. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Everybody got stuff. Everybody got stuff. Everybody got stuff. But I'm just like, hmm. Like I don't think like the way that I, the way that like, L. A. would do it, or like yeah. your your like the one in like when well, I think it's in Manhattan, like yeah. the Chinatown out there. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Like how fucking festive it looks. Like right. it, it's a totally different area when you get over there. You know what I'm saying? True. Well, goddamn. Okay. Well then, so. You know, you're you're running around and being, you know, a smaller you and so on and so forth. But then when you when do you kind of start like, OK, getting into the music thing? Because the thing is, though, you don't even make music that sounds like you're from out there, <laughs> which is good. That means you're out, you know, you think it outside the box and so on and so forth. But when did all the, the influences and things start flooding in? Uh, thank you for asking. I'm so happy to thank answer this asking. question. No one, ever, no one ever thanks me for asking anything. So yeah, no, like, I appreciate that. Like, mm-hmm. I get to tell my story on this platform. Like, that's so, that's very much appreciative. Hey, man, um, we're here. Uh, Talk to the mic, though. We got to hear I'm sorry. Story. I'm not used to this. <laughs> but, um... <laughs> Uh, I grew up in a musical, low-key, like, household. One-story household. Um, My uncles used to sing to me, boys to men, all the time. My mom made me listen to Vivian Green, like, oh, wow. Ashanti, stuff like that. Mm-hmm. My uncles played the reggae music. My other uncle was on, like, Tupac and stuff. So I literally had a mixing pot, like, in my family. Mm-hmm. And then um, when I was growing up, Hyphy, high high feet, like... Explain was so like, so you, you got to explain for a lot of people that aren't that are in New York and everything like that that don't live in the area don't right. know what that is. Explain kind of yeah. Um, hyphy the hyphy movement came obviously from the Bay Area. We have artists like E Forty, Too Short. Um, they kind of like Mac Dre, uh, Keek the Sneak, in rest in peace. They kind of uh, had that upbringing. They just brought like a different sound mm. to the Bay Area, like how every other music, you know, like gets brought up. So, um, yeah, that's how that happened. Mm. And um, also like HBK, yeah. that was like more my era type shit growing up. Yeah, like even like now, like. This shit, like they was wearing that shit back yeah. then. Like that's how like I kind of got into the music stuff. But I've also been like singing all my life, like mm-hmm. since I was a kid, like f- four or five years old, singing on my mom's phone voicemail. I was in the community, literally at ten eleven, singing for the community, and like my mom forced me to. <laughs> By the way, she forced me to do that shit. But um, it I didn't anyways. It did give me a lot of structure on how to perform, how to like be one with the audience and be confident on a stage. So yeah. I'm very, very grateful that she forced me to do that because I'm a shy person. So <laughs> I would have been shaking my boots this year. <laughs> She's if I also wasn't doing lying because when do you when were you be a uh, shy person? I, I think inter- internally, I can see that, yeah. I can internally. I'm it's not a shy person to you because I, I know you. Because I'm trying to, well, I remember, like I said, when we first started getting around each other, I said, I'm like, okay, like, okay. But I can, <laughs> I, can under, I can understand, I can understand that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Okay. I'm, I'm very shy. Like, growing up, I would hide behind my mother. Like The whole, I, like, the real life, like, shy. I'm literally situation. shy. Like, I would hide behind her. I'm only child, so, like, I didn't even get Oh, a like place to even like yeah, exactly. communicate yeah, exactly. with somebody. <laughs> like, I got a Game Boy in my backpack right now. And like, and that's it. And that's it. And that's like, it. that's how I grew up, just basically entertaining myself. So, yeah, I had all the time in the world to search up music and like do what I wanted to do: scrapbooking, gaming, oh, everything. Yeah. 
So. Really, really figure out who you wanted to be. Exactly. You know, now. So, I mean, then, so you could kind of yeah. flesh it all out now. Right. You know what I'm saying? So then, mm-hmm. so, which is a great base to have, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Like, it's well, always nice to hear the, the mothers, fathers, whatever the case in the situation. Yeah. Really, really helping or really pushing right. the, the good music agenda. You know yes. what I'm saying? Yes, yes, we're, yes. We're the, we're, there's, a, there's a dying breed out here, let me tell you. <laughs> but <laughs> We're not going to answer that. Okay? <laughs> Like, that, but anyway, but you know, real I music it, shit. Like, oh I God, miss it. Like, hey man, you, what did yeah, he say? Talking about, talking about uh, stop paying everybody so everybody starts making better music. He did say that. that. I watched that, is. and he was what is it, the Mary J. Blige song or yeah, something? Was, I was like, I, that's I, a good song. He it was, was like, a yeah. great song. I mean, it was. I think it was an older song because I'm like, definitely is. Older nobody song. back then in Motown is getting paid shit. You know, unless he was really popping. They was taking people's money, probably. I, couldn't, but I don't know. Hey, I, I wasn't there. So. And we, we wasn't don't there call me. That, you know what I'm don't was, call me. Definitely was not a, even a thought <laughs> in that time. You know what I'm saying? But uh, right. so from there, so yeah. when did you kind of want to start like making music and and so on and so forth? We'll start making music first before we get to the other half. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um. What's crazy is I knew I was a singer all my life, but I didn't start being in a studio until like 2018, 2019. Mm-hmm. Very, very recent. Mm-hmm. Um, my friends from back home like started to have a studio. They like had to set up. They're just like Jesse. Like we know you sing. You might as well like try and do something with give it. Give it a shot. Yeah, give it a shot. And I was like, okay, fuck it. Like we might as well just start make, making songs. Um, and yeah, I I was making songs though in like the eighth grade. Not gonna lie, mm-hmm. I made my first song in the eighth grade. Oh yeah. And. <laughs> People was fucking with the song. I put on YouTube and everything. And then I had my own, like, guitar, little shit. Like, I had chords to that. Everybody was singing that shit at the school. Yeah. You. That's when I knew. That's when you knew? I should have been making music a long Fuck. time ago. Fuck. Fuck. And then I don't know what happened. And then... I just started making music again. I mean, so. when did when did you when did you come down here? Because, I, I mean, I'm skipping, but, like, when did you... When did you... Because... <laughs> yeah, I'm curious. You know what I'm saying? Honestly, I was talking to my family about this like the other day. Like, when did I even move out here? Like, let me think about it. I think I moved here in 2020. Not okay, gonna that makes lie. sense. Okay. It's either like right before the pandemic or right after. But I think it was like 2020 for sure. 2020. Yeah. Because yeah, I can't remember. Because that's all like, I mean, a lot of people. You know, in that time, especially when they're supposed to be making music, I mean, it's a lot of yeah. life going on, and, and depending on what's available to you, because nowadays mm-hmm. you can you can make a song in your goddamn closet, and that's it. <laughs> Yo, like, you know what I'm saying? With, with, so easy. With very minimal, you know, iPhone fucking minimal mic. Equipment. You know what I'm saying? That's it. Like, you know what I'm saying? So, right. But, you know, it, it just depends on what's going on and what's available to you. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, I would feel. You know what I'm saying? So... <laughs> Listen, so you kind of figure this out, and you like, so you start, you know, kind of doing the whole, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, what? I was figuring my way out when I got out here. Well, well no plan, just no, fuck it. No plan. <laughs> no, how I started was like, okay, like, my family had to move out here because mm-hmm. um, my stepdad got a job out here. So mm-hmm. they are like, you can either stay in the Bay or you could just come with us real quick. Like, you never we'll know. That. And I was like. You know what? I think I need to change the scenery and just see what I can do in a different yeah. realm, like a different city. Like, why not? Mm-hmm. And I've always been like the adventurous type, so I wanted to do that. Can't so I was confirm. like, "Fuck it!" Like, mm-hmm. I'm gonna be out there. I was DJing the Bay a little bit, and I was like, "I think I want to see what I can do in LA." Hmm. So, so what, what brought on the DJ stuff? Uh, Perfect low, low key, like. <sighs> Um, I've always wanted to DJ. I just knew I was a singer and I wanted to like go into a different realm musically. Mm-hmm. So I was like, I think I want to DJ next. Mm-hmm. So got a DJ thing for Christmas. Was in my room. DJ thing. A DJ board. <laughs> Stop. They're going to take you to hell for that. No, they're not. <laughs> uh, a DJ board <laughs> for Christmas and mm-hmm. locked myself in my room. On YouTube all the time, trying to figure this shit out. Um, yeah, right. YouTube University <laughs> taught me a lot. Okay, alumni. Um, <laughs> but just on YouTube all the time, like practicing every day, and then eventually when I felt just like a little confident to like actually play for people, 
Um, I hit up, um, well, my family hit up a family friend who uh, works in a club in Oakland called Parliament. Shout out to them. They're my very first DJ set ever. Oh, the club. Right. So that's, I, a, that's a serious. Right. A serious. club club. Yeah. So facts. I DJ there and people love my set and it felt good, felt nice. So I was like, fuck yeah, might as well keep going with this. Mm-hmm. And brought it to LA. Didn't know what the hell I was going to do here. Literally, he met me yeah. as a photographer. I just say, Let's talk about that. I said, because she was a photographer with. Right. Uh, People don't know that. Yeah, no, they don't. And they I don't I, let out I, I have a I have a very old picture of UK. Shout out, K. Hope you're doing good. Love her. Um, UK and uh, it was at the at Rare Houses when, when I think it was Chief Keith when Chief Keith was there. Remember when the crowd was in, that, was in that pit? We were. And I was like, oh yeah, I was like, <laughs> we was all taking pictures, but I was like, that's so f-. shout out Rare House too, you know what I'm saying? Yes. You know what I mean? Shout, shout out my people over there. Um, but yeah, so I was like, I'm like, yeah, it's a super old picture. And like, you know, like your phone will give you like the moment, shit. And yeah, I was yeah, like, yeah. Fuck. Like, that was, I don't even remember when that was. That was. That was probably three years yeah, ago. Yeah, it was like three or four years ago. Yeah. Slick. So slick three, slick, four years ago. Three, four like, years ago. Fuck, that's like, how I'm like, that's how I'm like, yeah, I'm like, she had a camera on her head. <laughs> I was like, she, I didn't even know that she did anything else but that. And then I think a flyer had came out for, I think, the licking dip shit or some shit had came out. You was on the flyer for it. And I'm like, she DJ she, now? Like, what the fuck? She's not <laughs> DJ. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, that's crazy. And then it's like, okay, well, fuck it. But yeah, so I'm saying, so... When it wait, okay, because I'm very naive. Yeah. Um, to the uh, say yeah, you know what I'm saying? But, uh, Bro, I'm just like okay, no, 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 like it's, saying it's okay, a, it's a and joke. I'm not saying that. Don't do that to me. Tim, don't do that to me. I'm pressing you here. We have it. <laughs> See, you even know that shit. Don't Man, that why? Me. Why not? But uh, so I this is real life anyway. So um, <laughs> so I'm very naive when it comes to the whole DJ world as a right. as a as a circle as a right. culture. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Yeah. So when it comes to making a set. Because mm-hmm. you said your set was good. People know set is like, you know, your yes. time set to go on there, but you're making a time slot. Right? Yeah. You're making whatever, to, you're making mm-hmm. something to fit that. How do you, right. how do you go about it? What's the, you know what I'm saying? Because you have to have different bags, I'm guessing, depending on. Yes. To be, I guess, like versatile. Right. So like, what's the, what's the process? What's your process? I love this question. Um. So I would say that I like, put songs together that I feel like I've been listening to. So that's the first thing. Like, I just make a playlist. I don't really know exactly what I'm going to play, but, like, there's just specific songs in a specific era that I would want to play, I guess. Which is what? Like, just Uh, spitball question. It's, like, just some underground stuff and, like, for example, I played like Bash for the World at a concert or event or something, mm-hmm. and then just certain people would come up to me like, "How do you even know about this stuff?" I'm like, "That's just me. Like, I yeah. just love searching for new music. Yeah, I just love music in general. So, like, searching for new artists. I've always done that since I was a kid. Like, downloading shit on LimeWire. Like, that's Getting how we viruses. all grew up, right? Yeah. Our computers up. yeah, I got viruses on my computer. <laughs> No, I don't even know how the fuck I got there. But, yeah, oh, like, well. that was mm-hmm. me. Like, that's how I make my playlist is, like, things that I want to hear personally, things that are popping that I know people want to hear, yeah. and also putting people on to new artists at the yeah. same time. So having a mixture of that, and also, like, I would put, like, a sprinkle of maybe a 90s song or an 80s mm-hmm. song that mm-hmm. I feel like people know. Or, like, I like to surprise people with my sets. So my sets are different every single time. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, that's how I... Well, I mean, I just always curious because it's like, you know, like, is it... And, and, like, how often are you updating a set? Like, is every show a different set? Every show. Every, okay, right? You know what I'm saying? So, like... Every show, every set is different. I always want a new song in there that I have to play that night. Mm-hmm. Like, I'm always downloading new stuff, even though it's gonna be last minute. Like, I'll be an hour before my set. Like, all my friends know this. Have you done your set yet? No. And then, like, an hour before the show, guys, I'm like, yeah, <laughs> doing I'm my set right now. Let me download done. two mu- two songs real quick. <laughs> yeah, she laughing in the back because she know that's me. <laughs> like, she know, like, have you done your set? I'm like, no. But, yeah. I mean, look, man. I mean, <laughs> I feel like, I mean, hey, I feel, you know what I'm saying? But yeah. you don't know, I mean, people are on the go a lot. So, I mean, I can they understand are. that as well. And, I mean, 
I mean, I've seen people do, you know, one show at 9 o'clock, they got one more at 11. Right. And it's like, you know, well, shit, what do you, you know, where, where do you think I'm going to, and then also trying to fight downtown LA traffic or trying to go from <laughs> one place down to Hollywood, you know what I mean? You're not going to have time. You got to do that shit in the car on a hot spot. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, right. I, many I've done that plenty of times. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, a I've lot done of it my, at the club. Like, fuck it. I mean, hey, they got Wi Fi. You know what I'm saying? As long as it works out, you know what I'm saying? But I think, too, I mean, it, it's, it, it makes sense, too, because I mean, obviously, you get there and would have to see how everybody is and mm-hmm. what the mood is. So, I mean, right. I think you would have to, what did it say, like, read the room, you yes. know what I'm saying? To, yeah. to, to get the right thing going. Get the right energy going. You know, the, the whole nine. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, so, no, so I've just always been so curious about it. And then yes. you have the, the I don't want to say this. Uh, you have the, <laughs> I, have to, I have to make sure I say it correctly, but, okay. uh, you know, but you have like people that like, this is just a, a piggyback question to the other yeah. thing, like the request stuff. People do, I don't think people understand that you don't have every song of the universe. I do not. On, you know, on your, on your hard drive and, I you don't. know, this, that, and the third. So it's like, when you, you know, do you, do you listen to requests? Do you handle, do you really like, cause I, I mean, that would also too like interrupt what the fuck you got going on. Cause you're trying True. to pay attention, listen to cues and so on and right. so forth. But like. Like, how does that go? You know what I'm saying? Honestly, um, I listen to the people. Like, if they want to do a request here and there and things aren't chaotic and they just want to hear a song, I got it, I'm going to play it for you. But if it's like, I need to download it, I'm going to try. Like, mm. I'll tell people now I'm going to try. Like, if I have it downloaded, cool. Like, I'm going to try your best to for you to have a good time. Like, it's not, Yeah. you know? Like, I'm going to do that regardless. Even though, like, the codes say, don't be asking a request from DJs. <laughs> but I feel like everybody wants to do that. Like, especially when, like, most people start getting some alcohol in them. I feel like it's, True. yo, play this song. Play like, this. yo, play this. Like, you know what I'm saying? So I feel like it's inevitable. Like, I feel yeah, like everywhere you go is going to happen. Yeah. But it's just, like, I've always thought, like, you know, like, how do, like, how do y'all handle it? Like, especially because it's very, uh, to me, yeah. it's just super fucking chaotic to think of, like, you're right. having to, like, It's like you know? if we're doing this podcast right now, and somebody's like, ask this question, ask this question, ask yeah, this no. question. It's like, it's chaotic. Yeah, it's just like, come on, like, let me do what I want to do. This is my space, my realm. Exactly. But it's like, you also got to cater to the community. Yeah, I mean, because, I mean, I don't know. It's like, yeah, you're, you're trying to work questions into an ongoing sentence. Like, it's yeah. not going to be a... A, you know, not a, you know, also too, like the whole transition thing and all that type of shit. That too. shit, but it's hard. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. So, not like, because that was the next thing. It was like, uh-huh. so you're having to pretty much like listen for a specific, like, how did, like, I mean, put I it in a VPN of that new song that you just downloaded because you got a request. No, I mean, honestly, <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, I should be playing that shit. Like, you just fucking start I don't even like. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is the song you want? Okay, I'm just playing right now. Like, just for you right now. Like, I don't even care if the transitions is... I do care, actually, yeah. if the transition is bad. But, like, sometimes it's just... If it makes sense, it makes, different sense, different. It yeah, makes it sense. I'm going to just play it. Like, fuck it, whatever. Yeah, exactly. Like, just to make this person happy and whatever, whatever. Why mm-hmm. not? Yeah, I mean... I just, I've just i always, I've always thought about that, like, like, because people, like, you know, you'll be in the, you know, wherever, mm. you hear, you know, a transition, and it's like, damn, that shit sucked. <laughs> it's like, damn, like, and then I just always wonder, like, yeah, like, but, like, how hard is it to do? Like, because you're really trying to match up. Exactly. Two Low-key, different songs. It's actually, it's actually difficult. Like, you're Super trying difficult. to match up two different songs while the crowd is going, and, like, you trying to press the buttons at the same time to match it, and then you gotta like press one button for it to collide and actually sound good on the speakers. And like what you have in your earphones as a DJ is not the same as what's going on in the speakers. Like you have to listen because we're listening to the next song. Y'all listen to oh. the song that's playing, but we're listening to the next song that's gonna come up and how we're gonna tr- like transition both songs together. Like, oh. That's why we have headphones. That was the next question. Yeah. Wow. I never knew that. Mm-hmm. Like, I, I, I thought you were just listening to what we were hearing. That's how I always kind of thought it was redundant. Like, yo, you can just hear it outside. Mm-hmm. It was that. I just, you know, because like, you guys get a horrible fucking stigma. We like, do. You I do. Guess. And, and uh, I mean, it's it's honestly, like, to the point where it's like, damn, like. like What's the stigma, whole, though? Well, it's because, like, okay, so, and this is like a, like a, I feel like it's an in your field, but also yeah. like on the outside. Yeah. It's like being a DJ takes mm-hmm. no work. 
Like, mm-hmm. you know, you're not, you're just fucking making a playlist, fucking putting shit together. Like, right. you know what I'm saying? Like, where it's like, there's, like, people act as if there's no art behind it. Right. Okay. And it's like, okay, not, nah, I wouldn't, I wouldn't think that. Like, cause it's, it seems it. like it would be very hard to do if you were to just sit down, try to fuck with these gauges and show right. like everything's moving. It's, no, it's yeah, a lot you, to look you at. You gotta know musically, yeah. like, what, like, your high points is, like, a hi-hat or your bass, like, how to turn that down because the next song has a lot of bass. So, like, transitioning that, it's actually a hard yeah, job. I just don't think people think, like, you know, you'll sit there and, you know, you're doing this all day. And you're doing, yeah, you they think it's easy as well. Yeah, like, nah, just no, bro, it's, it's like, not... It's not it's that like, easy. I, I don't think they're just turning knobs. That shit looks difficult as fuck. Have you ever not. seen what those screens look like? Right. Like, even the ones that people be putting on their phones and shit like that. I'm like, that shit looks fucking difficult. Right. You know what I'm saying? And then it's like, but, you know, you have that, and then it's the idea of, like, well, you know, they just wanted to be a DJ to be a DJ, and yeah. is that a third? And it's like, I mean... I feel like as a person, at least as myself, that does a lot of different shit. Mind you, right. I, never, I would never be a DJ. I can't. I can't. Like, <laughs> I don't like. I, I hate DJ loud. DJ Tim. I, burr, 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 burr. I fucking hate loud noises. Like I'm not even gonna lie. That's why I don't be outside like that. But I'm he like, why he outside all the bro, time? I, be, I, I see be, him outside all the time. But well, look, I'm I'm really outside and I'm just chilling. Like, right. and I'm gonna cut like. Right. Like it's telling me you you've seen it. I'm like, and that's only because I haven't seen Buddy in a while. So, so I was uh-huh. like, I, I gotta go see my man. But any show yeah. he has, I go, I make sure I'm there for him. That's my man. Yeah. Um, same thing with the other one. So you know what I'm saying? So anyway, I say that to say it's like you know I feel like people have the idea of like oh well it's just people just you know Playing making music. a bunch of noise and, yeah you know and it's or it's like oh well she just wanted to be a DJ to be a DJ like right. there's no reason it's like right, definitely like, like, yeah, I yeah, love yeah. the music. Exactly what sure. I'm saying. That's so why I'm like, I feel like the stigma is so bad because of that. Mm-hmm. And it's like, you know, it's because it's like everyone's a DJ. But it's like, but who's, but the difference is like, who's a working DJ? Right. You know and I mean? like back in the day, like DJs were like the ones on the radios who mm-hmm. would like, uh, what's it called? Like break music. Yeah, exactly. So I feel like the DJs who do that, like they're like, I guess passing on to the generation of just like breaking people out, like yeah. that's what DJs was doing back then. They kind of like, still do it now, like you know, you, depending on who the the artist is, like they might play an unreleased song or whatever like that. Yeah, you know what I mean, but like full attacks, but you know, yeah. Uh, but obviously, it makes sense. But it's like you know, it's it's kind of still the same. But I think that just the world is just so digital and it's so fast nowadays. It is. It's very like, fast. Yeah, you know I mean? nobody really wants to like wait to break it. Like they're just trying to leak it. Like you know right. what I'm saying? Like that's that's pretty much it. Like you know what I'm saying? But I say that to say though. But as far as like your trajectory from mm-hmm. like you know working on this and doing like two different whole styles of things, like mm-hmm. like what's like what's the goal? Oh man, the goal, the end goal, really is just to. It ain't gotta be the end. It could just not be the like, end goal. Yeah. Just in general, the goal is just to make money off things that I love to do, mm-hmm. which is music in mm-hmm. general. And then, um, I guess get a house for my family, all that we'll do stuff mm-hmm. like make my mama proud, give her money. Like that's what I want to do off the music stuff, mm-hmm. whether it's DJing, singing. Whatever it is. But I would love to sing just professionally. Yeah, like, yeah. I love DJing. Don't get me wrong. But, like, mm-hmm. singing was my first encounter with music and, like, my first love type shit. So, yeah. No, yeah. I, I hear. I just I always thought, I always think, like, those are two very, like, time co- consuming yeah like it is things to i was do, literally in the studio last night. Like, so 1 a.m., like, I'm so tired. <sighs> Well, I gotta go somewhere else today, and I might go to the studio tomorrow. And I work also like a nine to five, so I don't have time during the week. Um, this won't be in there. This won't be in there. This won't be in there. What do you work? That could, it could be in there. Um, I work with kids with autism. Really? Yes. So I'm Look. a behavioral therapist. I've been working in that field for like five years now. I love really? it. Really? Mm-hmm. And so, and you know, for a lot of people that think like too, like you know. They can't juggle a nine to five and try you to can do, do what it. they're doing. I feel like you can do it. I do. You just gotta plan. You gotta just make sure. Yeah, you gotta plan it line. out. Do a work life balance type stuff. Like, but you're gonna be tired. Oh yeah. I feel like I feel like a lot of people are afraid to be tired. 
Oh, and like, can't be tired if you want to be in the industry type stuff. Especially if you want to do anything that has anything to do with nightlife. Right. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, you're, you're up. Right. You're up no matter, no matter what it is. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like Right. Last year, <laughs> I felt like... <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I was up the whole goddamn year. No like facts. I worked my nine to five, and then I got a DJ set almost every other, if not every weekend. Mm -hmm. I don't know how I even got the singing shit in there. I barely was in the studio last year because mm -hmm. I had so much like DJ stuff. But this year gonna be different. I want to be in the studio a little more for sure. All right, that's it. You just gotta space it out. Like you yeah. know what I'm saying? You just kind of keep going hard on everything. Exactly. When, so, are, you gonna, when are you gonna start doing DJ jobs for niggas mixtapes? You know what's crazy? Somebody asked me that. They you didn't were like, do it? they were like, you know what? You should put like exclusives on SoundCloud, like under your name, and you could get like money off that shit. Like my homie was just saying that to me, and I do have a song that I want to put on SoundCloud. From who? Uh, with Freshy. Oh really? Yeah. yeah um, I made a beat one. to it with me. Start making beats. Me and Loudy Luna. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. All right. That okay. shit hard. But okay. I don't know if they want to put it out or not, whatever what it is. But it might be on SoundCloud. But that I might mean, be the first, like, good stuff thing. I mean, obviously, you know, I, I, at least I, under the underground umbrella, you know what I'm saying, there's only so mm -hmm. many that's done it. Right. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, shout out Fat. I was literally about to say that. You know what I'm saying? Shout out Fat. Fat's out here right now and acting real crazy, and I'm upset about that, but that's okay. okay. But anyway, uh, <laughs> that's my man, though. You know that. Uh, uh, you know, as somebody as legendary, what he got going on and stuff like that, right. I mean, the shit is obviously, it can happen. You can do it. You know what I'm saying? But there isn't a lot of girls. Now, mind you, don't kill me. I don't know any. Yeah. If you do know, sh Send them over. I don't know right. who it is, but it's like you know, as grumpy, I think that should be fire. Like you know, I what I'm saying it would be so cool. Like you know what I mean? Because I mean, also too, like the whole girl DJ thing is a horrible rap too. That's all in the same circumference, which I just think is kind of crazy. Because it's it like is. you know, you guys have a good ear for shit. You guys are doing your we thing. Do. I just don't think it's worth putting the gender battle thing against it. Like where it's like you no know, males versus females. Like yo, your <sighs> niggas is all DJs. It's DJ before anything, and then your name. Right. Museum. The gender battle just has me messed up all around. Like, it's not even just in the DJ realm. It's it's everywhere. Yeah, thanks. Like, it's out here. Uh, just in general, in any aspect, mm -hmm. business-wise, um, work-wise, um, in the household-wise, in this industry-wise, like, mm -hmm. it's everywhere. What have you ran into with the, with the DJ stuff? What do you mean? Like, situations. Just being a female? Yeah, just being a female. <sighs> I'm only asking because you know there might be somebody in the same thing. No, it's true. I feel like we have to be more ass assertive, I guess. Mm -hmm. And um, I feel like this is a male dominant industry, so mm -hmm. we have to ask for what we want um, right. in an intense way because nobody gonna take it serious unless we're like in your face about it, exactly. and we keep doing it over and over again and then it's just like oh she fire or oh mm. she, she means business yeah she <laughs> needs to be in the, the, the. it's like yeah. we always got to work 10 times harder for some reason and i don't appreciate that <laughs> but the fact is that you can work 10 times harder which is nice we can you know and we saying? will and we'll do that shit but and it we'll, still needs to be it will be Reading a book with our candles in a bathtub, <laughs> making playlists, and we'll have the best playlist than any other person out there. And period. But making a that sounds like you, you said, know? yeah, I feel you. I understand. Yeah. I understand. I'm right. with you. I advocate. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So, but I, I was just so curious because it's just so much kind of going on about yeah. it and it's just like you know i see so much shit every day and it's just like I'm you know same you know and it's just like yeah you know like but i mean you guys there's only like five of y'all for real that's getting most of the work i would feel at least the ones that i'm seeing that are in my lane of right. of of the the movement i guess right. you know what i'm saying so it's like one of those things so it's like but it's yeah. good to see yeah you know what i'm saying so this is the you funniest out, person I've ever met. Just letting you know. I'm just saying. Anyway, guys, <laughs> this is like any any last words before we get out of here, bud. Um, last words is put your just Tim. Shit. I appreciate you for doing this and giving me a platform to even tell my story. No um, I have some music coming out next month, <laughs> exclusively. You know, period. Um, book me to DJ. And um. Yeah. Through me, I'm her manager. Oh. Book her through me, Tim. 
manager is crazy. But but I'm here. I, I do need a manager. Shug. Okay. I'm like Suge Knight. Right ahead to me. I do need a manager, so if she anybody out there and want to manage me, you know. You got to go through me first. Yeah. <laughs> I guess so. We'll put all your contact information in the bottom, though. Oh, yeah. For I my contact, <laughs> follow me on Instagram at underscore Jesse Robbie, not Jessica. J E S S I E R O B B I E, period. <laughs> Jessica! No. It's not, it's not her name. She's not a Jessica. Shout it's out to him. Shout out to y'all for watching this. Shout out to the hundreds. The hundreds. Her, her moleskin hat. My mom's can have. <laughs> yeah, let and me get a little break now. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Because I'll be go. my shit. Little, you know? Go. Talk. Yeah, we got a uh, hundred uh, collar sleeve right here. <laughs> we got the, uh, I don't know if you can see it, but it's a, she, pro- it's a Prada backpack. Uh, <laughs> and then uh, we got some jeans on, but they're Kevin Klein, so uh, stop playing with me. Uh, and, of course, we got the Margiela slippers on. Uh, and a $2 hat from the thrift. Uh, oh, and a BB belt. <laughs> So and a pee pee belt. You're a fucking idiot. Yeah, let me stop. Well, guys, now that we know that she's <laughs> she's <laughs> popping her shit now, guys, <laughs> this has been Life at Times life with times. the littlest DJ hey. and the littlest singer. The littlest, but the littest. <laughs> Fags. No, I'm kidding. Jesse Robbie. Gang. Put on clock right off my hip and shoot some shots like D-Rock. I'm busy trying to get these racks. Now I can't pick up the phone.